Welcome, Bout Betters. The props are out. I'm going to be crunching some more numbers. Most of these matchups are typical or straightforward. The odds are enticing, or is that just a degenerate in me? I'm in trouble because I don't tread carefully. Last week, I was all over the place. I won only 26% of my bets uh, to make lunch money. Restraint, restraint, restraint will be my moniker. But I'm looking to place a wager on this bout between Tom Aspinall, minus 240 favorite against Sergey Spivak, the plus 188 underdog. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Aspinall is the second largest favorite on the card. The UFC didn't do this show right here in the States. Uh, not a lot of good marketing. These are some decent European fighters. I think this was supposed to take place in London for some reason because there are plenty of uh, Europeans on this card that are very exciting and can make for a very good show. The odds makers see violence in this, at, thus they have... Uh, Aspinall by finish at minus 159 and Sergey Spivak at plus 400. I see the same. They also see this, uh, the uh, pop bout to go by decision at plus 550 for Aspinall and plus 475 for Sergey Spivak. They definitely don't see this going three rounds. Sure, Aspinall is a newcomer. Despite being an older fighter, he has a 100% uh, finish rate thus far in the UFC. Spivak has three finishes in the UFC is and, and is on a three-fight win streak. Everyone is focusing on Spivak's loss to Marcin Tiberia and how he was dominated on the feet as well as on the ground, but that was Marcin Tiberia who's a title contender, highly of Tom Aspinall's grappling credentials. But Spivak has his own grappling pedigree and is a skilled striker himself. Aspinall is more athletic and possibly quicker than Marcin Tiberia and is going to be well versed on the ground. Will the grappling be nullified here? Will it be a non-factor? Is Aspinall's game, his grappling game and his striking game being oversold? I think Spivak is being undersold in this instance. He has finishing power in his hands, but Vegas has no faith in them, nor his counter grappling and ground skills. I think Aspinall is just overpriced here. Again, I keep hitting on that price. He's tagged like he's going to win this in one round, in round one, <laughs> and it's going to end in 60 seconds. Uh, in fact, the books have Spivak more likely to lose in one minute than his ability to submit Aspinall. Uh, he's, Spivak is plus 1,000 by submission. Aspinall is plus 500 by submission. And the prop for it to finish in uh, 60 seconds is plus 600. It's just tough for me to really back Aspinall here. I have to lean on the dog. I'm going to look at the over one and a half and Spivak in rounds two at plus 1200, possibly round three at plus uh, 1200, or, or actually it's plus 2000. I would say don't wait to live bet Spivak. If he's getting his ass kicked, Aspinall is uh, plus 500 in round two. Again, I like the dog and the over one and a half. Yes, the dog here. If you like any of this stuff, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment, notification button. Thank you very much.